John Morgo now talking with uh, Georgia State softball coach Roger Kincaid after the Panthers' defeat of University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks by a score of 10 to 2, game one of their three game Sun Belt set. First of all, coach, Caitlin Ray came up big for you, five RBIs, including a grand slam. Tell us about how she's been progressing these last uh, nine games. Well, she's been putting the ball on, uh, the bat on the ball very consistently for us. Uh, doubles machine, she's leading the conference in doubles and uh, she got a little lift on the ball today and hit a grand slam, got out of the park, which was good. Um, you know, helped us out right there. And, uh, you know, just continued on throughout the game. I think she was three for four in the game and uh, had some solid hits, uh, five RBIs, like you said. So she's been seeing the ball well. Uh, got her batting in the leadoff position. Probably a true number three hitter, but with the consistency that she's been hitting the ball, uh, we feel like we want her to get as many at bats as we can get her. So that's when we got her in the one spot. And also you had a great game from Emily Souls in the circle, five innings, gave up two runs. One of them was unearned, only three hits. Very consistent performer for you. A lot of ground balls. Yeah, and that's important on a day like today when the wind's blowing out um, to keep the ball down, to get a lot of a ground ball outs. Um, you keep the ball in the park on a day like today, you've done a really good job as a pitcher because uh, just a little bit of lift with that wind blowing out, it's going to travel. And Emily seems to be getting well. Um, it's a long road back from from the injury that she had, but she seems to be getting well. She seems to be getting better every time out. And uh, I mean, you know, we need her. She's, she's a big piece of what we want to do. So uh, every time she throws like this, it's very encouraging for the future. 13 hits for your offense today. A very strong offensive performance, top to bottom. You had 10 players back in that second inning where you scored six runs, really took control of the game. So it looks like the offense finally uh, maybe turned a corner with this one. Yeah, I hope so. 13 hits is a big number for us, so that's that's really encouraging. And uh, uh, you're right, the more, the more batters we can bring to the plate, the better off we are. And, you know, we have things uh, where we, we need to hit from a situation standpoint. We've, not, we've struggled with that this year, and it seems like we hit really well today with runners on base. And that's, that's something we've been emphasizing, so I'm glad to see they turned a little bit of a corner there. And finally, Coach, five games left in the regular season, including two more with Monroe and then three against that squad from Statesboro that shall go nameless. What are you going to look at primarily for your team to do in these remaining five games? Well, we're, we're not going to talk about five. We're going to talk about one at a time. Uh, talk about one inning at a time, actually. We, you know, we'll talk about winning the inning. So uh, they focused today. I thought it was really good. It's a Friday. Um, you know, they had class today and, and had to come out to the field after class. So I was real proud of that, starting the series off with a win. And, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to pretend like tomorrow is the first game of the series and go after it. And uh, that, that's the most important game we play because that's the next game we play. So that's how our approach is going to be. All right, thank you very much, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. That was head coach Roger Kincaid. Game two of the series between the Panthers and the Warhawks of University Louisiana Monroe tomorrow. Saturday at 1 p.m. available exclusively on Panther Vision. Same thing Sunday for the third game of the series, 1 o'clock. This has been John Morgan reporting for Georgia State Sports.